And once again, things slowly returning to normal in northwestern New Jersey. Route 80 finally moving again after the back end of a truck separated over there from its cab. It landed on supports above New Jersey Transit Railroad tracks. CBS 2's Tony Aiello joins us live in Roxbury Township with the latest on this one. Tony. Alice, I went down on those railroad tracks, looked up and got a good view of that dump truck hopper 20 feet above. I got to tell you, I've never seen anything quite like it. Drivers were stuck on I-80 for hours. Trains were stopped and buses used to replace them after this morning's accident, which also sent three people to the hospital. Talk about a close call. The rear part of a dump truck, the hopper, toppled onto the girders of an I-80 overpass. Down below, New Jersey Transit Railroad tracks, 20 feet below the 15,000 pounds of danger precariously perched above. We heard the huge crash noise, and then you just hear the horn honking nonstop. This woman was working nearby when the truck and this Ford SUV collided in the eastbound lanes of Interstate 80. This picture posted on social media shows the SUV upside down on the road. Marlon Medrano heard the SUV driver panicking. Do you hear the lady screaming like, oh my gosh, like screaming like basically in terror saying help me, someone help me. New Jersey Transit quickly stopped train service running between Mount Arlington and Hackettstown, while workers with powder mill towing examined the truck hopper from a cherry picker, trying to determine how to remove it. Luckily, the back of the dump truck was empty, but big chunks of the cab went tumbling down down alongside the railroad tracks, this piece of the hood, and even what looks like the truck's easy pass. There were lane closures eastbound and gawkers delays westbound for more than six hours. Eventually, workers attached cables to the hopper and lifted it off the girders using what's known as the rotator arm on a heavy duty tow truck. The dump truck driver, the driver of that Ford SUV, and a young passenger in the Ford all taken to local hospitals. Thankfully, none of their injuries are life threatening. Live in Roxbury Township, New Jersey, Morris County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. All right, Tony, thank you.